Right now, three people remain on death row in our state, but they may never meet their fate with the state house moving forward on a bill to repeal the death penalty overnight. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live at the state capitol, and Nicole, debate lasted well into the early morning, but now it looks like the bill will find its way to the governor's desk. Yeah, technically the bill still needs to pass a final roll call vote in the House of Representatives, but uh, that is certain to pass. And then this will be sent to Governor Polis's desk to sign the bill already passed the Senate, of course. Lawmakers opposed to repealing the death penalty put up a fight well into the overnight hours. It wasn't until 4 a.m. that a vote finally came on this. And lawmakers who support repealing the death penalty are celebrating this morning. Uh, we saw a tweet from Democratic Representative Leslie Harrod tweeting the Colorado House of Representatives has made history. Republicans, meanwhile, are accepting defeat, but calling out Democrats saying it should have been the voters of Colorado who got to make this decision. Once the governor signs this bill and it becomes law July 1st, Colorado will join 21 other states where capital punishment is not an option for prosecutors. Instead, life imprisonment without the possibility of parole will be the toughest sentence that can be imposed on offenders here in Colorado. Colorado has not actually executed an inmate since 1997. As for the three men currently on death row that you mentioned, the repeal of the death penalty won't impact their cases directly. However, Governor Polis has indicated he will likely commute their sentences to life in prison because of this repeal passing. We're live at the state capitol this morning. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. All right. Thank you, Nicole.